If you could transform a child's life, like really make an impact by cultivating confidence, building up self-esteem and making them feel included, you would, wouldn't you? I thought so. So I'm here every week with new videos about creativity, elementary school activities, and ways to create real change in kids' lives. So subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. So many of you know I've been conducting after school drama club programs on campuses for over a decade, and we've had thousands of kiddos go through our successful program. I'm passionate about bringing play and more creativity back into kids' lives because the results of doing so are life-changing. Really. Today I'm going to give you the three steps to start a drama club program at your school. By the end of this video, you'll discover how to start and implement an after school enrichment program, specifically a theater arts based program, on your campus. So let's start at the beginning. What is a drama club? Drama club is an after school theater arts enrichment program that focuses on building confidence, self esteem, and inclusion. A drama club program done correctly, and I'm talking specifically at the elementary primary grade level, can fill the gap, teaching skills that traditional academic curriculum can't. The benefits are substantial and really worth the effort. I call them the four C's. Creativity, critical thinking, collaboration, communication. These are just some of the soft skills that students learn and put into practice with a drama club program. I believe, and I'm not the only one, that these programs are crucial in developing our youth to be the next generation of creative thinkers, doers, and entrepreneurs. Okay, where do you start? I knew you were going to ask this question. Well, it's actually quite simple. So let's break it down into three steps, okay? Okay. Step one, who's going to lead it? Finding the right person, the best type of instructor, is someone with a passion for kids, period. So like a leader for a successful drama club program needs to have a genuine love for kids and who can make sure that at the end of the day, it's all about having fun. No theater experience required. What? Let me repeat that. No theater experience required. While it's certainly helpful to have some kind of drama or theater background, it's not essential. When you have the right curriculum, coupled with that perfect instructor, you'll find that sweet spot of success. Teacher, parent volunteer. This is a great place to start, to try to find the right person to lead it. Is there a staff teacher who has the right energy and enthusiasm? Maybe the music teacher. Or how about a parent volunteer who might be passionate about this program for their own child? I'll bet there is someone right under your nose. Think about your school. Who might have had some theater experience or maybe who just loves the theater? Comment below and let me know if you think of someone who might be a good fit. Step two, rehearsal space. Finding the right space. A drama club program doesn't have to necessarily meet on a stage. Consider an empty classroom, the gym, cafeteria, or the library, or even a hallway for weekly meetings and rehearsals. Meeting day. Once you've identified the space, then you can secure the meeting time and day. I suggest meeting once per week for 12 weeks right after school. So for instance, if the gym is available on Mondays, have your class time on Mondays after school in the gym. My advice is to find a quiet place where you don't have a lot of other activity happening. If you can have a space just for the drama club to meet, that's best. Step three, curriculum. Now, you'll need a good, solid, proven curriculum, and I have found that there are four solid sections to a successful program. Section one is your welcome, warm-ups, procedures, and protocol. You'll want to start each class time in an organized and ritualistic fashion. It's important to conduct each drama class in the same way so the students can learn what's expected of them and how to behave in your class. Section two. Introductory theater terms and knowledge. With the right curriculum, you can introduce some very basic but important theater terminology and history. Section three, theater games. The basis for every successful drama club program is theater and improvisation games. These games are students' favorite part of the drama club day and are excellent ways to put soft skills into practice. The best curriculums will not only provide suggested theater games, 
but also include videos on how to actually conduct these games. This way, truly anyone can learn how to implement the games. No theater experience required. Section four, script and production elements. Not necessarily the most important part of the program, but often the kid's favorite, the script. Certainly you can use just about any type of script. Just make sure that your script and any other elements like production elements, music, are either royalty free or that you've properly secured the performance rights. Okay, so who else is ready to really make a difference in our youth? Implement your own drama club program at your school. I've got a great freebie that you can download. Three steps to start a drama club at your school. It complements everything I've covered here today in this video. You can grab it with the link in the description below. Hey, if you want to join a community of passionate people who are advocates for their students, just like you, I have a Facebook page where I share up-to-date creative ideas, activities, and even life hacks to help you when your brain is fried and you need a little creative inspiration. You'll find the Facebook community link below. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it, subscribe and share it with your fellow educators and parents. And comment below with Bravo if this video helped ignite your creativity. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.